disaster. In 50 years, the world's population has more than doubled, which is speeding up climate change. Because of the way us humans choose to live on Earth, our biodiversity is going into a decline. We as British youths need to take action to stop this from carrying on before it gets too late. The UN panel experts have found that one million animal and plant species are facing extinction. There have already been five mass extinctions and another one, if not two, is predicted to happen in the next 50 years if we do not change the way we live our day-to-day -day lives. Forests cover 30% of the planet and deforestation is destroying all of these forests on a massive scale. At the current rate of destruction, the world's forests could completely disappear in the next 100 years. Forests provide home for 80% of the plants and animals that live on Earth, meaning that deforestation has killed more than 50% of forest animals. Do you believe in global warming and why? I do believe in global warming. I think there is strong scientific evidence to back it up. I do believe in global warming because I know that the climate isn't what it was anymore and that it's being affected. No, because it says that in like 2040 the world could be extinct. Uh, yes, um, you know, it's pretty obvious that it's a real thing. Yeah, I do because we sit in the news all the time. Like we can quite clearly see all the ice caps are melting and the temperatures rising on the earth and all animals are dying. So it's pretty clear that it's actually happening and it's not actually fake. Can you give any examples of what's happening to the world today? Um, you know, God, ozone layer melting. No, not melting. What's it called? Evaporating. The melting of the ice caps in Antarctica. And then lots of like deaths of polar bears are losing their habitat. Um, temperature change in the in the in the uh, environment. Deforestation. That's got a real negative impact on the environment. As a British youth, are you worried about climate change? Um, yeah, I am because I think um, early generations have caused it for us, but we're going to be the generation that suffers from it. I guess so because there's always that thing in the news about it being irreversible. So. May not be a problem for me, but my future children. Yeah, I'm worried because I want to live my life. Yeah, I am because it's my future that's being affected, and my kids' future if I have kids. Yeah, well, obviously not me, but my kids and my grandkids. And as a British youth, what steps do you take on your day-to-day -day life to reduce climate change? I guess just like carpooling where I can, share cars, so we're not like giving away like t twice as many fumes. I save, I save electricity by sending for that. I recycle things, put them in the right bins. Quite a few people were turning vegan recently. Would you ever change to just a plant-based diet? Um, I don't think I would, honestly. I mean, it's easy to do once you start it, I guess, but it is more expensive and a lot more effort, and no one else in my family is. Personally, I wouldn't, because like, meat's got a big part of my life with like, sport and stuff, so... Um, but my sister, she's now turned vegetarian. No. Why? Because I can't live without meat. One of the main reasons for global warming is because of humans burning fossil fuels. Doing this has increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by a third only since the 1900s. These fossil fuels are heating up our world and because of this ice is melting, which is then causing sea levels to rapidly rise. In 40 years, the ice at sea has reduced by 40%. Polar bears and other arctic animals' habitats have been ruined and they are also getting starved as there is no longer enough food for them. These recordings are in the centre of the Atlantic where there is supposed to be plenty enough ice for these polar bears but because of global warming melting all of the ice there is no longer enough left. At the rate of which the Arctic is melting right now, because of too much pollution, polar bears may become the next animals to become extinct. So I'm here with Finn today to discuss about climate change and the issues that we're going to be facing in our future. If you could just introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm Finn, um, I'm 16 and I'm studying uh, at the Henley College. Do you believe in global warming? Uh, yeah, of course. And I think it would be quite naive of people not to. Um, 
for example, like Donald Trump, <laughs> like all of his uh, lectures, lectures about how climate change and global warming like don't exist. But like, there's literal scientific evidence, and in our day-to-day -day life, <laughs> and I think the sad thing is we've always known about it. We've always known that it's been around, yet we still haven't done anything to. Yeah. Um, and what do you do on your day-to-day -day life to help this problem? Um, so personally, I'm vegan. I have been for, uh, I think, around a year, one or two years. Um, and that, like, part, there are many different reasons for that. So partly for, like, animal rights and things like that. But also a big part of that, big factor of that, is to help the environment. Uh, I think it was, I read a thing that it's like, um, uh, animal agriculture contributes more greenhouse gas emissions than the entire transport sector, oh. like combined, like with like that's like planes, cars, like everything. Um, so I think that's like one of like a really it's not an easy step necessarily, but it's like uh, it can be a simple change for some people. Yeah, because I spoke to some people whether they'd ever turn vegan, but most British. <laughs> and yeah. say that it's too much hassle for them. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are loads of factors. Like, it can be really, it can be impossible for people. But I think um, if, I think that's like a really good place to start, or at least being aware of how things are happening. So like, for example, I also go to quite a lot of protests. I volunteered with Extinction Rebellion um, and things like that. And I think the main thing is, is just getting people educated. So even if, say, you're not vegan, you're not vegetarian or pescatarian or whatever, um, you just realise the impact that things can have on the world. And you said you went to protests. Did you find this, was this experience good? Were they all good? Yeah, yeah, by large, they've been um, really positive. I think there are two sides to all the protests and different events. There's like the really positive side where it's like, you know, everyone coming together to try to like help the earth and things. But then there's also the sadder side with mm -hmm. all the dangers and there's not as much hope anymore. And I think that's a shame because but it does bring a sense of reality back to us. Do you think they make a big impact? Um, I think protests are a good place maybe to start. So like even things like sharing things on Instagram about... Uh, climate change, about global warming. Just to raise awareness. Just to raise Start awareness. It, yeah. It's just to raise awareness. That's everything that it does. Um, just to get people interested in it. Are you worried about climate change in your future? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to impact us massively. It will have an impact on us, and I think unless we do something to change, we we don't have much hope left. We can't just keep continuing the way we're living at least. We have to make at least some changes. Yeah. Well, thank you for speaking to me today. Thank you.